now going to add textures to our design tin and we can do this by creating a new view and we'll just call it Viz Poly. And we need to turn on all of our design tags. So we can either transfer the data from our design view using the option View Transfer Data or we can use the tag we just created Models, Add Tag Models, Design Data. We're now going to use an option that takes each triangle and colours it the colour of a polygon that surrounds it. So remember earlier on we talked about these um, polygons that have been created and each one's been created using the colour of the strings and we'll use those polygons to colour our triangulation. We do that under the option Tins, Colour, Colour within Polygon. The tin we're going to colour will be our design tin and we can click on the option use polygon colour and we want to colour inside and we want to use a model of polygons. And we have to do this for each of our different polygon models but the first one we'll use will be road 1, road 1 polygons and we hit colour. You can then see that 12D has coloured the triangles inside in relation to the colour of the polygons it found. Next one we'll do will be road 2 and then we have to do the three curb returns. We can now use the toggle icon here to change it from a triangle view to a solid and you can see as we zoom in here it kind of gives us the representation of the road surface itself, the shoulder over here, the curb and channel, the footpaths, the areas of cut and the areas of fill. If we now use an option under our visualization settings and go to view visualization tin render settings we select our tin which is the design view and we're going to use a texture map and we can just use the 12D default one and we click on two-sided tins and hit set and finish. If we were now to have a look at our tin inside our perspective view if I toggle on the tin design and toggle on shading you can see that the texture has been applied to our triangulation. This is always the first step in doing a visualization.